Well, the new year is here and it's a time of year where a lot of people make resolutions. A lot of those typically include something about being happier or healthier. Well, did you know house plants are a great way to accomplish both of those things? We're here at Pike Nurseries this morning with Mara Ammons to talk about that very subject. Happy New Year to Happy you first. New year. You know, last week we talked about plants that are lucky for the new year, but now let's focus on health and happiness. What makes these a good option for that? So there are numerous studies right now that are talking about how wonderful plants are and how they actually cleanse the air that you're breathing indoors. Okay. So NASA and Texas A&M put out studies that talk about it also boosting your mood and your creativity as well. Oh, so great things. It is, it is very nice. <laughs> so they have a wonderful list out there. Here's a couple of them. Peace Lily and of course Sansevieria and different options for whether or not you have high light, medium light, or low light. All right, so how do you determine that? So a really fun way to check and see how much sunlight you might actually have, remembering that anything with a switch does not count. Okay. It has to be natural light. <laughs> so you take a piece of paper and you put your hand in front of it and if you have a very defined shadow that's considered high light. If it's blurry on the edges it's medium and if you don't have a shadow at all it's low light. So we have several different options. Um, IVs and pothos are two of the lower light uh, varieties that we sell. Cactus, you think about the desert, it's going to be a lot higher light, need a lot more sunlight exposure. Okay. Yeah. Now, once you've chosen what's appropriate for the light that you have, how do you plant and care for these? So you have two options. You can choose a, a planter that already has drainage. It has holes in the bottom so the water will leave the container into something else like a plate. Or you can have a container that's closed. And when you have a closed container, the first thing you have to do is add a layer which gives you a water reservoir for the, the plant when you water to have it leave the soil and go somewhere else so it's not staying saturated. Okay. So you have both options. All right, so if you're not home all the time to water regularly, is there something you can do in that instance? Absolutely, absolutely. We have two options here. The water globe, you fill it up with water, you water in your plant before you head out of town, pop this in, and it'll water on demand as the plant dries out slowly. We also have this product called Soil Moist. You sprinkle a little bit on the top, it fills up, and then it slowly evaporates over time. So what's the best Best way to ensure that you are giving the right amount of water. Okay, so there is a touch test. You take your fingers and you place it in the soil about an inch deep mm -hmm. and make sure that you do not water if it's still damp. If it's dry, go ahead and give it a sip. Okay, great. Yeah. Do you have anything going on special at Pike Nurseries this weekend? We do. We have an indoor plant class. It's free and it's at all of our locations. So come by so that we, we can help you get started in a healthy, happy new year. All right. Thank you very much, yeah. Mara. Thank you. Mm -hmm.